This is a story about the summer George and Betty spent on Uncle Jim's dairy farm. George and Betty are both excited because this is a very special trip. But they're not a bit more excited than Andy and Jane, who live on the farm. Jane, I think they're here. I see their car. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I'll run to Mom. Mom, Mom, you're here. George and Betty are coming. No wonder they're all so excited. After Uncle Fred and Aunt Alice go back to the city, George and Betty are going to stay to spend a whole summer on the farm with Jane and Andy. Where's Uncle Jim? Dad's out in the field. Come on, and they'll let you ring the bell to call him. Okay. Let me ring it. Go ahead, Betty. You ring it. Grown-ups have things to talk about, but Andy and Jane have their plans all set. The first thing to do is to show their city cousins some new things around the farm. And because it is a dairy farm, the first thing they show off is their bright new milking parlor, where their older brother, Bill, has started the milking. How are you? We're fine. Mine is clean in here. That's right, Betty. All dairy farms want to keep their barns clean, and their cows, too. Is that why you're washing the cow? Every morning and evening, George, just before they're milked. This is one way we help to make sure the milk is always pure and wholesome and good tasting, too. See those pipes up there? The milk runs from the cow through those pipes to the big cooler in the milk room. Yes, yeah, and it keeps cold and fresh until the refrigerator tank truck comes and picks it up every morning. That's right, Andy. Uncle Jim, how do cows make milk? Oh, they make it out of what they eat. Yeah, but what do they eat? Well, come on, I'll show you. Well, now this is what the cows eat at milking time. Why, that looks like some of our breakfast cereals. Well, that's pretty much what it is, Betty. As a matter of fact, cows are a lot like people. Now, this feed is a special mixture of ground grain with the extra vitamins and minerals that cows must eat to stay healthy. Of course, they eat grass and hay and silage, too. They need all different kinds of good food, plenty of good, clean water, and a clean, comfortable place to live. That way, they go to be strong and healthy. But I'd better get over there and help your brother Bill with the milking. You know, Andy, I think that maybe Betty and George would like to see the hayloft. What do you think? Yeah! Huh? Right. Come on, let's play with all the leaders. Sure! Yeah. Well, let's play with all the leaders. That's okay, George. You can't do it now, but the bigger and stronger you get, and the more you practice, the more things you can do. You'll be able to do it by the end of the summer. George and Betty soon discovered that on a farm, everybody has work to do. Right now, this new calf doesn't need any help. It's just two days old, but it knows where its dinner is. But later on, it will be Andy's job to teach the calf to drink its milk from a pail and to eat other feed. 
Uncle Jim and Bill make sure the grown-up cows are properly fed, that they get grain and grass and silage, all the good food and clean water they need to make good, fresh milk. There was plenty for everybody to do. Betty helped Jane take care of the baby lamb. And they all learned about pigs, too. George and Andy helped Bill feed the pigs every day, while Betty and Jane helped with the babies. Pigs don't have good table manners, but they enjoy their dinner, a mixture of milk and ground grains. Later, they will eat corn and other kinds of feed. Baby chicks, too, are started out on a special mixture of ground-up grain, milk, and other feed. This is Betty's and Jane's favorite chore. The baby chicks are so soft and cuddly. On the farm, a big dog has plenty of room to run and play. But he is more than a pet. He also protects the family. But all the puppies have to do is eat and play and sleep and grow up strong and healthy. Jane's kitten loves to drink his milk. And Jane and Betty enjoy playing with the kittens. When the dinner bell rings, no one has to call the girls twice. They run to the house and wash up quickly so they won't be late. Living on a farm makes you hungry, and Aunt Helen is certainly a good cook. Look at all the wonderful things to eat. It takes all kinds of good food to build up muscles and let us grow bigger and stronger. Children are ready for bed after a busy day on the farm. <laughs> this is the way the summer went. Play, work, and rest. The children helped with the chores. While Bill helped in the cornfield, Andy and George kept the vegetable garden clear of weeds. Jane and Betty brought in fresh eggs each day and helped Aunt Helen with the housework. It was fun, too, especially riding the horses. Whenever they were hungry in the middle of the afternoon, there were snacks under the shady trees in the big yard. Twice a week, letters from home in the big mailbox beside the highway. As the summer passed, everything seemed to grow. The corn was knee high on George when he came. Now it's taller than he is. Andy's calf is bigger and eating like a grown cow. The lambs are almost grown. 
and look how big the pigs are now. The little chicks have become grown chicks. George and Betty have grown bigger and stronger too. George can even shinny up that rope now. Yes, they've had a wonderful time. They've learned how animals grow through good, nourishing food. They've learned how work and play and fun go together on the farm. They've had good, nourishing food to grow on. And plenty of sleep. The summer is over and George and Betty are waiting for their parents to take them back to the city. It's time for goodbye now, but the children will have a lot to tell their friends at home. It'll be a long time before either George and Betty or Andy and Jane forget that summer of fun on Uncle Jim's dairy farm.